Hey friends, Wayne over here at the Ram Man Inc. Don't forget the ink. Well, <coughs> we need to join a couple metal pieces together. And what we are going to do is we're going to use liquid nitrogen. And we just going to cryogenically weld these metal pieces together. And uh, this is what they use, like, to put gears on great big old shafts that are like a foot in diameter, two, three, four, five feet in diameter, putting on big old gears <coughs> on them shafts, can't weld them on, won't hold good enough, get us a little bit of liquid nitrogen. We going to join this block in the right, right there. You know what? We got a little bit extra. And I'm kind of cheap. Now naturally you want to be kind of careful with this stuff. And if you ain't used to farting around with it every day, I'd probably steer clear of it. Because if you don't know what you're doing, you sure can F some stuff up, my friend. I guarantee you, you can F it up big time. You won't make sure Get your two components it has like a mirror smooth polish on there so you can maximize the surface area on a microscopic level. It's a straight line instead of all those little bitty imperfections. Maximize that surface area. You don't have too long. Your machining's got to be dead on for this procedure because it's you know, half thousands, thousands off, and it won't fit. Too tight, too loose. You name it. Ain't too many things give me more EBGBs doing this right here because back when I was learning, I burned up a few pieces that I welded together, and once they go together, you're not getting them apart, my friend. You done destroyed that part. If it ain't what you want, it's a boat anchor. Or something to put on your desk. There we go. One puck in. That boy, bad boy's done. All right, we're getting ready to set the other one. You remember some of that stuff back from your chemistry that you took and all that? It's one of them exothermic reaction stuff. It proceeds right along and then right before it gets to the end of the cycle, it's going to come into a big old rush. We're just boiling that steel. As soon as it gets close, remember how cold this liquid nitrogen is? It's negative 201? Yeah, way out there, 70s. And as that reaction, as it gets closer and closer and closer, it's going to speed up. You can hear it too. Hear it? Okay, they've equalized. Puck is at the temperature you want it at. Let's get to welding. I was going to say, I ain't never burned myself doing this, but that'd be a lie. I have. There we go, my friends. We just cold welded.
those parts together. Cryogenically frozen with liquid nitrogen. God bless you. God bless America. Just because they look like a dummy, that don't mean they're a dummy.